Are we about to see a massive push higher for the price of XRP? Hi and welcome back everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic day out there. In this video guys, of course, as always, I'm going to give you all the relevant news and updates regarding Ripple and XRP. But more importantly guys, at the end of this video, I want to talk to you about something that no one else out there really is regarding XRP that has me led to believe we are about to see some pretty phenomenal gains for XRP. All I ever ask guys is if you do like talking about Ripple XRP, you know what to do. Drop an X, smash the like button, and share the video. Let others around the world know what is truly happening in this digital revolution. First, I want to start right here, guys. XRP up 9% here today. Cannot complain about that. Over 30% gain in the past seven days. Now, I want to share a metric and data real quickly that's kind of comical. Maybe you'll get a kick out of it as well. But in the depths of a crypto winner, in, in the depths of a bear market, right? What you will see on XRP videos are about 50-50 in the comments section where you have about 50% of the folks out there that say positive things about XRP. Positive, encouraging statements because they know what they hold. They know where XRP is going long term. But what you will also see as this is a psychological warfare game in all reality is about 50% of the people that are getting tired of waiting. They result to negativity, to hate even, regarding XRP because they want to see XRP moon right now. Not realizing at the end of this day, guys, this is an investing game and it does take time. When we're talking about a financial revolution, digital revolution, this does take time. But putting yourself in a digital asset like XRP, of course, my belief is setting you up for success. But here lately, we've seen about 10% of the FUDders in the comments section. So you're always going to have some FUD and negativity. But ironically, that FUD is starting to fade away. Just want to share that quick detail with you. Now, also, guys, yesterday on Ripple's website, they put out a, a piece on tokenization. A lot of people get hung up on what exactly is tokenization. And the easiest way to put this is when you take a look at tokenization in the future, it's going to touch just about anything you can think of. Now, they did a piece where they talked about how right now it's about a $3.5 billion industry moving into $16 trillion by 2030. But what this is going to touch is tokenization of mortgages, consumer loans, micro loans. We talk about property purchases, treasury notes, and so forth. All can benefit from tokenization. We've also heard CEO Larry Fink talking about talk about tokenization and how the debt and security markets and derivatives, everything in the future will be tokenized. It's a very obvious thing at this point in time. Ripple is setting us up for success when we talk about tokenization. Now, along with that, Crypto Ari, who give her a follow on YouTube, great for the YouTube XRP community. XRP community in general put out the largest bank in Southeast Asia provides Ripple with streamlined integration via DBS award winning API platform. You say DBS sounds familiar. I'll get to that in just a moment. But rapid real time APIs by DBS. As a result, Ripple can access seamless FX conversions from a single multi currency account, supporting Ripple as it continues to scale its operations in Singapore. Now, why is Singapore so important? Maybe you remember us talking about Project Guardian which was put out by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, so essentially the Central Bank of Singapore, which has organizations among it working in this industry group, the likes of Apollo, BNY Mellon, Citigroup, DBS, Doge Bank, Franklin Templeton, JP Morgan, so big, huge names. SBI. Some of these folks are directly standard charter working directly with Ripple. Now, what did we just see June 21st, 2023 last year? Crypto firm Ripple gets into principal payments licenses in Singapore, the, the first major crypto company to do this. So we are heavily, heavily embedded in the new financial system in Singapore with the institutions that matter the most. This is just one of many reasons on why Ripple 
has succeeded and will continue to succeed as we move into legislation that is crypto friendly as we move forward into a world where politics are actually on our side we are going to see crypto firms like ripple american-based crypto firms lead the way we know what they're doing overseas just wait until the united states of america gets a hold of ripple in a big way now also so just a couple other little pieces real quickly i want to get into guys in a timely fashion regarding both ripple and xrp before i get into the meat and potatoes of this video is first off palu which may sound familiar to you all of that as they are a pacific island nation that has been working with ripple for a long time now to help them establish their own cbdc platform well check this out palu has now contracted a japanese software financial company right as financial software company and what they're doing is allowing them to use a platform to issue and manage government bonds so as we move into a world of tokenization of assets we're also moving into a world where issuance and management of government bonds will be done likely on the xrpl as well as other platforms that are already established these governments do not have the time or capability to make it happen on their own and what we see is them moving at a very slow pace and saying finally now is the time to adopt technology that has been here for a long time as as ripple has been working in the sector for over a decade now time tested proven to work now also guys ripple has donated one million dollars to a pack supporting john deaton for senate campaign let's get elizabeth warren out guys as they have donated one million dollars to commonwealth unity fund a new super pack set by attorney james murphy aka meta lawman to unseat senator warren and elect john deaton for those of you who don't know john deaton guys he's a u.s marine he's an attorney but pro xrp we need guys in office like john deaton now that's all i'll say on that because i know many are talking about this out there this is what i want to get into guys because i don't think a lot of people are putting enough focus on this stay with me here i wanted to talk about some data and metrics of course to analysts right now we possibly have a very serious rally coming into question supported by cryptocurrency whales and sharks with over 100,000 xrp a visible turning point in these wallets is accumulation of xrp supply according to data wallets holding over 100,000 xrp currently own approximately 85 percent of the token supply which is the highest value in 11 months guys on the other hand these big whales wallets hold a total of 51.59 billion xrp which is actually right now the highest record of all time now what comes next guys we've got the big smart money the big whales out there buying xrp like we've been talking about for a long time and then in two days july 18th we'll have a private meeting signaling a potential resolution this thursday we have the smart money that's been buying you and i the small retail buyer a very small percentage and this is kind of what i was trying to get at last night guys we are a small percentage right now but the masses will come in and i don't think many people are focusing on that enough the mass amount of fomo will be insane because what we have in the xrp community is unlike any other community out there a lot of strength right a lot of people that have been here for a lot of years and we have a strong foundation and we know what we hold and we are spreading it like wildfire now we're starting to see some momentum with the chart up nine percent here today but that's absolutely nothing guys i'm here for a two three four digit xrp like many of you i believe one of the one things that most people are not focusing on right now is retail FOMO because over the past few years retail has played a big part in this market we've seen them get into stupid coins stupid projects that are here one day gone the next this is a digital asset that will be here for the long term that I believe will likely give many life-changing games that's my thoughts my perspectives let me know yours in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you all in the next one